Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through my self-care night routine because we deserve it, okay? We deserve some self-care. I've been working really hard all the time and I just want to take tonight to focus on me, focus on some self-care activities, skincare, self-tanning, all of that jazz. So a portion of this video is sponsored by Sukin. We're going to get into their skincare products later because I'm obsessed with everything that I've been using. We're going to start our unwinding process. It is around 5 p.m. now. I start the process of my night routine pretty early because I go to bed early and I like to be in bed and reading and relaxing as early as I can. So we got to start the unwinding process quite early for that to happen. So Let's get into my self-care night routine. So step number one of my self-care night routine is always to remove my makeup because the sooner you can get it off your face, the better. And I like to really pamper my skin with super moisturizing, hydrating products. So recently I've been using the Sukin products and I am in love with them. They're an Australian brand that is all natural, vegan, they are paraben free, sulfate free, they're cruelty free, they don't test on animals at all. I'm actually going to put a list on the screen here of all of the ingredients that they do not include in their formulas which is amazing and they're just a really really great company. Like their values and beliefs are amazing. They are carbon neutral. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the products that I'm using and let's get into it. Step number one is I'm going to remove my makeup. So I actually got these cool like little pad things in the mail recently and you just kind of use them with water and they just remove your makeup. It's pretty cool. I don't have a lot of makeup on right now anyways. Just some um, sunscreen, concealer, that kind of stuff. But I don't have foundation and I only have mascara on. So this should be able to remove all of my makeup. So I'm just gonna go in with this pad and just start rubbing it on my face to get off all that sunscreen. You can see it coming off already. And I just love doing my skincare. Like I find it so therapeutic to me. Like it just makes me feel so good. Now that all our makeup is off and my skin is still damp, I'm gonna go in with the Sugan Australia Rose Hip Nourishing Cream Cleanser. This is a paraben free cleanser. It is naturally created with no synthetic fragrances, no harsh detergents, no petroleum, no mineral oils, no silicones, all of that stuff that you don't want in your products. And rosehip is amazing for hydration. This is a really nice like cream consistency. So I'm gonna work this into my skin. Oh, I love this cleanser because it doesn't strip your skin at all like you can really feel it nourishing and hydrating the skin and as you get older which you know i am getting sadly slowly older you want to really make sure that you are hydrating your skin and just nourishing it with all those ingredients that you want and rose up is also amazing for fine lines and acne scarring as well as any sort of redness dryness just an amazing superstar ingredient to have in products. I also love that the second ingredient in a lot of their cleansers is the aloe because aloe is also just such an amazing product for your skin. So now our skin is freshly washed. So the next step for me, of course, is just my retinol. I apply retinol cream every single night because I had acne. It also prevents acne from coming back. I just apply a pea sized amount onto my skin and I just rub it in. I'm probably not supposed to do this, but I do it. And anyway that I have like a little pimple, I'll just, you know, pat it in there. It's a miracle in my opinion, and you should probably try it out. We're gonna let that sit for a bit and then carry on with the rest of the products. So if you're looking for this kind of skincare brand, I would definitely recommend checking out your local health food store and see if they would have the products there because that's where I always found them. You also can order them online. But now that I've had my retinol sitting on my skin for a little bit, I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer. So at nighttime, I love to use a night cream. This is the Sukin Signature Line Moisture Restoring Night Cream. It has amazing ingredients in it as well. The second ingredient is aloe again, which is always amazing to have in your skin. It has a bunch of amazing oils like rosehip oil, shea butter, vitamin E, jojoba oil. So many really great, amazing moisturizing ingredients in here. Just applying this all over my face and patting it in. And then the last step in my routine is the Sukin Rose Hip Oil. So this is 100% rose hip oil. Rose hip oil is amazing for acne scarring. It actually is one of those ingredients that a lot of people swear by got rid of their acne scars, which is why I'm incorporating it into my routine now because I do have some slight 
um, scarring still, as you guys can see. So you just take around two to three drops. I usually do three. Then I rub my hands together, and then I'll just press this, especially where I really need it, which is my cheeks. That's where I have the most scarring. Literally glowing, which is always the goal. That's kind of like my little pamper skincare routine. If you're looking for a cruelty, vegan, non-GMO, kind of skincare line, Sukin is definitely an amazing way to go. I literally am obsessed with their products, especially the rose hip line. It smells divine and it helps with anti-aging and scarring. And who doesn't want that? Okay, we're just gonna apply one of my OG self tanners, which is Loving Tan 2 Hour Express. You know, it's always good. This is like the handy, reliable, always there for you self tanner. So I'm gonna apply some of this onto my body and then leave it on for two hours. All right, so my self tanner is on, but a little tip for doing your hands, which I feel like everyone knows now, but you can just do it on a brush. It makes the biggest difference. So I just put some on a brush and then I take my hand like this and I'll just self tan my hand. I always make sure to also go like this with my hands and blend it here. So you don't have those like super white lines when you bend your knuckles because that's never cute either. So now I'm gonna leave this on for like two hours. It is six exactly, wow, perfect timing. Okay, this is staying on me until 8 p.m. Then we will shower, which is literally the most ideal timing I've ever heard of in my life, because then I can shower and then relax. I was going to do like a hair mask, but I have F45 at 8.30 tomorrow and it's a hit class. I'm just gonna sweat. I'm just gonna sweat, my hair's gonna be sweaty. So I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow, so I'm sorry. The hair care is not included in this vlog, but you'll have to stay tuned and find out. It just started raining, which I feel like adds to my self-care night even more. Like who doesn't wanna cozy up and do some self-care on a very rainy, miserable night? I just finished having my dinner and now I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling. So I'm gonna do this one. This is a guided journal by the Happiness Planner. I love this one. I'm working through the self-awareness journal right now. The prompt for this journaling session is how do you snap out of a bad mood? Some of us have specific processes that improve our state of mind when we are feeling down. Having such tools in our personal toolbox helps us move forward much quicker. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do some of this journaling to unwind and relax because journaling is really, really, really relaxing and just being able to get out a bunch of your thoughts. literally so windy out right now. The trees are like blowing, but I thought I would go through some of the tips that I have for how to snap out of a bad mood because why not, right? So my number one tip is to exercise. Anytime that I've been in like a horrible mood and I've gone to the gym, I leave feeling a billion times better because of those endorphins. Number two, happy music. Very difficult to stay in a bad mood when you're listening to a happy song. Almost impossible. Number three, this is a personal thing tea and alone time. Sometimes to snap out of a bad mood, I need to be alone. Sometimes I just need to be alone. I need to just sit by myself and be like, chill out. And number four, books and reading, because why not just escape reality, right? my evening I like to set the mood so I lit some candles I have myself a nice cup of tea here decaffeinated of course so that I sleep I do like to indulge in some late night snacking and um, I'm currently obsessed with these if you haven't tried these chips do it and let me know what you think because they are my current obsession and it's not a very healthy obsession, but 
everything in moderation. So I'm gonna eat some of my spicy dill pickle chips and watch something on Netflix for a bit because it's only like 8.30. I was gonna put on my blue light glasses, but they're really, really dirty. That's a bit better. Okay, I'm gonna wear my blue light glasses while I watch some Netflix in the hopes it'll be better for my eyes. I'm gonna put something on now. I don't know what yet, but we'll find something. I just finished my movie. I watched Yes, God, Yes on Netflix. Actually, really good. That was a good movie. So it's like a coming of age. A girl who's in Catholic school, she goes to like a camp and it's a coming of age thing. Drama, comedy kind of thing. But anyways, I ate a lot of snacks. I drank my tea and now I'm gonna go brush my teeth, get like bed ready and then it's time to read. Y'all know that I read in bed. Let's go brush our teeth and do the final steps in our going to bed routine. I'm currently reading A Court of Silver Flames. This is the newest book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Maas. And I'm about this far in, so not super far in yet, but I really like this book. It's really making me change my opinion on Nesta because as you guys know this book centers around her and in all the other books honestly I wasn't the biggest fan of her character you know like I can handle a little bit of sass but sometimes she was downright mean so it kind of follows her and Cassian and so far I really like it it's so good like it literally gripped me from the very beginning and I was into it from the very beginning which I love books like that so usually I'll read a couple chapters We'll see how far I get. I usually just will place my bookmark kind of like where I want to finish. Like I might read till chapter 20 tonight. Yeah, this is helps me like unwind. I remember I told you guys in my healthy habits for 2021 to read before bed. And that's something that I've been sticking to, especially when I have nights to myself. I always make sure that I read before bed. It helps me sleep and I just enjoy every minute of it. And I love reading and I want to read 40 books this year. So I need to keep up with my you know, reading, I'll be able to hit my goal. Cause I think 40 books would be a good goal to hit. I'll feel pretty proud of myself. And after that, I definitely am gonna need to get a Kindle cause I don't know where I'm gonna keep all these books that I'm buying, but we'll figure it out along the way, I suppose. You guys haven't read this series yet, you need to. And yeah, I guess I'm just gonna end off this little night routine vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you watch this video all the way till the end, comment down below what is the number one thing that you love to do in your night routine, whether that's reading, watching Netflix, hanging out, whatever it is, you know? What is your number one thing that you love to do? I love you all so, so much, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.